Have you ever been in a room that felt like you could be there all day? In order to create a fabulous space, designers apply six basic principles, such as proportion, harmony, balance, rhythm, emphasis, and contrast. In today's video, I want to share with all of you what the real meaning is of interior design and how we can create a harmonious space following some basic principles. I will explain to you how those principles work and some examples in a real space. Hi guys, welcome back to Designers and Saira Kuri for those who don't know me. I'm an architect and lighting designer. If it's your first time here and you love design, don't forget to subscribe to follow my channel. I want to remind you to turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss it out on the upcoming videos. Also, follow me on Instagram to get in touch. I'm very passionate about design. And when I read this kind of comments and I see how people are understanding what design means in our life, I feel very, very happy. I really appreciate your comments because they let me know that you're interested and let me know how can I help you when it comes to design. So I made this video especially for you guys. Remember to be free to ask. So if you have any question after watching this video, please let me know in a comment below. I will respond to as many comments as I can. A good design is not only about the aesthetic aspects. It's not just placing beautiful things in the space. It's about how each element works together in the space to transform our lives. So design is not only about beauty. It's the clever play between all the elements in this space. Some design principles exist that are a crucial part in creating a great design. When you know the basic interior design principles, you can transform any space to look and feel fabulous and unique. You can sense how everything feels cohesive. You can feel how everything works in unity. You can achieve that effect in your own home following these principles. Obviously, you can pair that knowledge with practice and experimentation on your way to creating a perfect space. The following six principles are the keys to creating inviting spaces that family and friends will love spending time in. But don't be afraid, I will do my best to explain it in a simple way. So let's get started. The most important element that anchors the design and adds interest is emphasis also known as a focal point. A focal point should be something interesting to look at, something colorful or texturally and visually appealing, a particular item to create a visual impact. Imagine a huge vibrant painting above the fireplace, or a wall in a bold paint color or cover it with wallpaper to draw attention in your living room. When you are walking into this space and your attention is focused on a particular element, like the huge painting above the fireplace or the ball accent wall. This might be the focal option of the room. And the principle here is emphasis. A room where everything gets equal importance will seem either scattered or boring. You need an anchor. You need a focal point to break the monotony of the space. In architectural terms, in my house, I clearly have a wall that can be a potential focal point. And I choose it for many reasons because it has a double height. I can see that wall from multiple points of my house, even from the second floor. And it's the brighter space of my house because of the large windows. I decide to accentuate it by putting a large vibrant painting above my TV stand to emphasize the scale of the wall and to add a contrast between the wall and the paint, creating a visual impact. I think it works very well because when people come to my house, their eyes always go to that wall first. In interior design, it's important to put elements in opposition to each other by their color, shape, texture, materials, or the scale. Remember that opposites attract. This design principle can be achieved in different ways, pairing light with our colors, small elements with large elements, or texture with non-textured surfaces. When contrast is applied to a space, it can give life and character 
to any room. So, go dynamic. Include high contrast colors, textures, patterns. Don't be afraid. Just mix and match. I love high contrast. I achieve contrast in multiple ways inside my space. Through the color and texture of pillows, I create high contrast between the light colors from the walls of my general space with the dark color of my furniture. Also between some transparent objects with solid ones. The point here is to mix and match, so go dynamic because high contrast is essential for creating a ball space. It can be strange to think of a room as rhythmic. But just like music, rhythm in design is all about creating patterns of repetition and contrast to create visual interest. It's like the combination of a musical note and the silence that make up the rhythm, but in a visual way. The repetition will create flow which moves the viewer's eyes around the space, duplicating elements, colors, shapes, or patterns to tie a design together. You can achieve this by using the same color or shape at different intervals. Its purpose is to move your eye around the room. For instance, you can establish a rhythm by using a color in the pillows, picking it up in a painting, and again in a rock. These repetitions will help carry your eye around the room, and this will help you to balance and unify the space. I can establish a rhythm by using a color in the pillows, picking it up in a painting, and again in an ottoman. Balance is a distribution of equal visual. Adding emphasis by contrast and rhythm to your space, you will have a sense of balance. In designs, balance creates a feeling of equilibrium. It's all about equalizing or approximating the visual weight of objects. The balance is the distribution of the visual weight of objects, colors, textures into the space to create a feeling of stability and unity. Traditional or formal spaces call for symmetrical balance, where the space is evenly split into two sides that mirror each other. Asymmetrical balance. The visual weight of lines, colors, forms, and textures are balanced without exact duplication. Personally, I prefer asymmetrical balance because it can be more complex and interesting. Have you ever been in a small room where the furniture overpowers the space? If so, you understand the importance of scale. The scale relates to the size of objects within a space. Proportion is about the relationship between two elements. It's how the object relates to the overall context. For instance, you have a large sofa and next to it you place a small side table. Maybe the proportion of the items are grown. So you can only consider the size of the room and the element when you are decorating. You need to be careful with the size of each item and the relationship between each other. Harmony in interior design is created when all the elements act together to create a unified and cohesive composition. It's the sense that all of the elements of your design fit together. Harmony refers to the placing relationship among the parts of a composition. They may fit the same thing, aesthetic style or more. The important takeaway is that each distinct piece 
seems to belong together in some way, even if it's not identical to anything else. To achieve unity and harmony into your space, it's important to define an aesthetic style, because this way you have parameters of colors, textures, and shapes to warranty a cohesive atmosphere. All those principles come together to design a spectacular space. Those principles are crucial elements when it comes to creating any composition, even in other arts like painting, photography, or architecture. They are guides to make a cohesive ambience. Each of these principles work together to tell our brain that we are in a beautiful, comfortable, and pleasant space. Not only for our eyes, but also for our soul. If you like this video, please don't forget to click like and subscribe to be part of our design community. Remember to follow me on Instagram for daily inspiration and to get in touch. Have a beautiful week. See you next time.